Happens. Josh, do you have your number? Yep. I'm gonna have you just drop that in there. I just put your paperwork in here. Cool. There you are. Everything's in one spot. And you already upload your music? Uh, I'm about to do that like right now. Is it still open to upload or do I, or will I have to bring? I don't believe it is. You're probably gonna need to bring, bring it. Bring it. Okay, I can bring that tomorrow. We'll see this again. You want it in the last year, on Saturday. Last year we fell we fell short. So we can go with the NPC one, obviously not. Me and wife are leaving with IP Pro tracks. Alright y'all, from those first clips, oh we're dirty. We're still dirty. Alright y'all, from those first clips, you can see we are in New Jersey. We landed yesterday. A little bit of a shit show. Like, rental the car took a while for a oh, fucking hell. Rental car took a while. We finally got in the rental car. We made weight. We laid in at 188.4? 188.6? Uh, super light. We woke up even lighter today. Depletion is done, though. Uh, I feel like absolute dog shit. So now we will start the car. Well, so we got to check in early, which is clutch, which means that. You know, I gotta suck down anymore. You know, we'll be able to make weight. Or we made weight, we don't gotta worry about that shit. Today, depending on uh, what Cody says when he sees how he looked, we're not gonna be doing anything at all. But, so Airbnb is dope. We're going to get our first meal in. Uh, your boy is starving. Also. You guys see it, we are super shredded. I don't feel like setting up the camera, so I'll put in this morning's check-in pictures like here. We're looking super dry. Uh, we made it to New Jersey with all that water. So now, tilapia and cream of rice. Here's our breakfast. Champions, ooh, this chip does not sound. Very stable, six ounces of tilapia. Cream of rice, 50 grams of carbs. Some expel. I feel like I take all my diet water this morning. I think we're either going to get half of this or three quarters, depending on what Cody says when he wakes up. The only thing that's kind of ass right now is that, like, because there's a three-hour difference before it was just two. So, like, I don't know when he'll be up. So, I don't know when I'll get, like, the actual full-up day. I got an idea what we're doing. Uh, but, obviously, it's very subject to change peak week because it's all based on how you look. So, I think we're going 250 grams of carbs a day. But imagine protein's the same, and then I don't know what fats are, but I just use like 15 grams of fat right here, so it is what it is. Well, we've officially reached the peak of being down bad, and anyone watching this is probably going to throw up watching. This deep in prep, this like locked in like I don't really care, but uh, that is cream of rice. The cream of rice, it did add a little bit of salt, just a little bit. Almond butter and tilapia. Yes, fucking tilapia. Not, you know, not your typical gourmet breakfast. But I will say cream of rice, rice, pretty much the same thing. If you guys have ever had like almond butter dripped over the ground beef or chicken or anything like that, even tilapia, so gas. Especially when <clears throat> that's like one of the only sweet things that I get is the almond butter. I was just sitting here eating this and I was like, Everyone was on me for putting the eggs in with the oatmeal, which is super valid. But this, I gotta win at this point. So, this vlog has been an absolute fucking shit show. It's now six o'clock. I am exhausted beyond belief. Like, I've never been so dead. I've napped three times today. I'm about to drink another coffee, uh, just because I think I'm gonna need it. Just to like function and also 
Helps me go to the bathroom. Oh, your boy is fucking dead. Absolutely dead. So I think, I mean, I think I'm going to show part of tomorrow in today's video for you guys. Just because I don't know what else to post. I mean, if I post this, it's going to be like half-assed. I don't know. Maybe I can think of something to rant about for a good clip. But, like, there's literally nothing else going on today. We got off the phone with Cody. Discuss tomorrow's plan for our carb up. It is 8.30. Uh, we just ate again. <coughs> Feeling a little bit more life in us. But I was just looking at, like, what we have. Grocery-wise, I'm going to need more tilapia for tomorrow as well as some more asparagus. So we're gonna go to the grocery store, but we're not gonna go to just any grocery store, we're gonna go to Wegmans. There's Wegmans here, it's about a 20 minute, 25 minute drive, but it's totally worth it. I may, <coughs> fuck, I may get some post show snacks. Obviously it hasn't really been a priority, something that I'm thinking of, but um, Wegmans Bakery is super gas. I really want like a Wegmans uh, post show too. If you know, you know. I'm gonna change and just get some extra steps in. We've been literally sleeping and chilling in the house all day, so like, I think it'll be good to get out. We have made it to the motherland. We're at, in my opinion, the best grocery store that I've ever been to. We also got some fireworks going on in the background, but we gotta get tilapia, asparagus, and a couple of treats, and we're gonna see what she thinks. So maybe we'll get something to eat. I'm trying to encourage her to get uh, some of the pre-made food. I feel like I have to. It's only right. First time I like this. It's only right. Now, Wegmans has some of the best cookies like ever. And I'm gonna see. They also have brownies. But they have specific brownies that are my absolute fucking favorite. I used to get them all the time when I was a kid and I ended up I'd end up eating the whole container and my family would be pissed at me because I would literally buy the whole thing. They also have the subs, which is something I really wanted. But that's obviously close. But Nah, they're close. But they have the pre-made ones. But we're gonna see if we can't get maybe some cookies for after. Oh yeah. Double the chips, baby. Big time. Classic. And then, I mean, it's only right. A part of me feels like I don't want to do this right now because like, this is stuff for after the show. Like, I just want to focus on the show. But like, we're here. It's not, it's not necessarily the end of the world. But let's see if she can't find some, uh, some pre-made shit. I'm so sick, bro. These subs are so gas. They got some of the subs here, but like, if we're gonna do it, I'll drive back here in the 25 minutes to get it fresh because I love this shit like that much. We still need to find the brownies, and then obviously we gotta get the shit that we actually need, tilapia, asparagus. I think that's it. All right, so I don't know if they have it here. I don't know, maybe you guys' grocery stores just have them, uh, but they'd have the little like cookie things for like the kids come and like uh get your like free little cookie bro i used to body those whole things i grabbed like 10 of them they're supposed to be like one per person i think after covid all that shit changed but i don't see the brownies oh shit never mind literally so gas oh my god these are like the greatest things ever like so gas so fucking gas Man, we don't want no sugar-free shit. Fuck all that. Sugar alcohol in it. Ooh. Hey, if y'all are cutting, like this next ice cream is actually so valid, it's not even funny. Like the calories per pint, and it had like the cookie dough. 340 for a whole pint, super valid. Obviously, we're gonna be enjoying this. We're gonna no longer be cutting. So we're gonna come over here and get us some of the real. Asparagus or tilapia, snacks with crispy crushed. The main course. Yeah, I've never left the grocery store without getting a drink. Seriously. Yeah, I mean, in like the off season, if I go to the grocery store, I'm typically leaving something to eat right down there, protein oh. bar or something. Always. But bag is secure. Time to head back. Finish our last meal, finish off our water, go to fucking bed. Pipe because the faster I fall asleep, I actually fuck I shave too. But we get to eat tomorrow. Uh, we're obviously getting a lot more carbs. Uh, 
So, and it's like playing it by ear because you can't like reverse carbs. You can always add more, but you can't take any back. So, like once you're full, you're full. That makes sense. But get you guys back in the crib. We are officially one day out. It is Friday. Uh, let's see if we can catch. We're looking dry, but super, super flat. But all that will change today. We begin the carb up. So this first meal is seven ounces of rice, three ounces of beef, asparagus, and then I'm gonna take like uh, some of my pills and stuff. And then like 10 minutes after eating this, I have a rice cake with almond butter. And then in about an hour, I have my next meal. So we're gonna send these check-ins to Cody. And then, uh, and feast. Been about 10 minutes since we ate the first meal. So we got a little bit of almond butter on a rice cake. It's just so that my body doesn't like burn through all the carbs. Just watching like some YouTube. We got to pick up a flash drive today and just go get our tan, which is at four. It's all that's planned for today. We got all our food. It's going to be chilling, eating, posing in between meals and stuff. We'll get you guys a physique update. I realized that I didn't yesterday. At least like one on the camera. All right, y'all. So it's 11, two meals in, two rice cakes in. Probably gonna eat again here soon, just timing wise. But, so, we have a potential new sponsor. Uh, the only thing holding us back is if we like it or not, but Flex Pro Meals, uh, I believe James English just signed with them. And my boy Deuce is with them as well. But they sent us some meals uh, to have here. They can also do like protein by the pound, which is probably what I'd end up using when I go to use them come this off season just so that I can control a little bit more. Cause the portions, I eat a lot more food than that. And protein's what's super expensive anyways. But, so we got like 10 meals. Wife got some meals, so maybe she'll try one out today. She's still not back yet. And then she can tell you how it feels, obviously, or how it tastes. Obviously, I won't be doing any of that. Two meals in, I'm still feeling super dead. I still feel like, kind of flat. I mean, we're only two meals in, so. But, energy levels aren't the greatest. We're thirsty. We only got 32 ounces of water today, but we're just trying to kill some time until uh, we go get this tan. All right, so I haven't done the greatest job of filming. It is currently 1.30. It's kind of like all the same shit, like look. Tilapia, rice, asparagus, and then our rice cake for about 10 minutes after the meal. Now this is our meal four. So after this, we'll check in with Cody after about 30 minutes, let it digest. And then uh, see what he calls for. After this, by the time I like check in, we'll probably be leaving to go get our tan and uh, turn our flash drive. But we just took a pretty crazy video on our phone of how we're looking. We got the first taste test. What is that? It's actually really good. I don't know. I just peeled off the label. Thai coconut chicken. Boston? It's good. It smells really good. Really I'm not going to lie. They looked kind of sus when mm -hmm. I was like, oh, I don't know how good this is going to be. I also wonder what the shelf life is. Really they say good. they're good for a while. Which, I like, think you could probably freeze them. It says, like, sell by, like, December. Kinda, I think you can wild. freeze them. Either way, it's good. But we are going to get this check-in, so we're going to do it unpumped. Then we're going to try to get a little pump and send the video over to Cody. Let's 
time to uh time to get really dark. Let's see. Come on a few shades darker. You said you start right here? Yes. Dang. <laughs> you are so tan. <laughs> <laughs> What's that fuzzy thing called? The mic? Is it just a mic? Yeah, it's a wind protector. I don't know. I'm like, what's that fuzzy thing? <laughs> All right, so we have made it back. Um, we got an extra ounce of rice here. I already ate this burger. Now we got two rice cakes, almond butter, our dandelion root, and vitamin C. And then our last bit of water. Water gets cut off at 6. It is 5, so we got about an hour. So I will probably leave like just a couple ounces after this meal and then I'll have my last bit right at 8. I'm not even a bodybuilder, I mean, chicken, rice, and vegetables. Alright, I've been doing a really bad job of filming, I'm not gonna lie, but my excuse is I don't have a full-time videographer like all these other dudes, but we just got off the phone with Cody, we're gonna go get a medium fry from McDonald's, come back, have 6 ounces of rice, asparagus, three ounces of tilapia, take our last two expel, and then that will probably be our last meal. We may end up getting another one, and then we're gonna try to sleep. Uh, oh, we're also gonna take some vitamin C and dandelion root. But we're gonna go pick up this this fry. I'm just hella tired, and I hope that I'll like actually be able to sleep. Typically before the show, like, nerves are running, and during, like, my mind, my mind already races on like a thousand, so. I got some melatonin just in case so we can knock the fuck out, but. We're gonna go to McDonald's, I'm gonna leave y'all here, and I'll pick up the camera when I come back. We have what could be our last meal of the day here. We got the fries, we got the basic ass fries, but this is what you guys really wanna see. I mean, they're cold already, but that's fucking delicious. So, we're gonna body this, take our last bit of pills. I may try to edit this, I may just try to, I gotta check in again with Cody in about an hour after eating this, so can't go to bed just yet, but gonna unwind after this. Just chill out. Good morning, y'all. It is show day. Today is the day we either get our pro card or we fall short. Feeling super confident. I am very tired. I took some melatonin last night, but still, it's always hard to sleep uh, beforehand. I normally wake up like early, like hours early, like I woke up at three. Obviously that's way too early. Uh, and then I woke up early when my alarm went off at like f like 5.40. But we got our first meal hit up, we just sent Cody check-ins. Uh, we definitely have flattened out a little overnight. So we'll see, see what call he makes after we eat our first meal. Fuck. Uh, wife is still sleeping, I'm not gonna force her to get up. Uh, until we have to but she's going to be filming a lot on her camera today and I'm going to be stealing her clips uh, obviously I want to document as much as possible but also I'm not trying to overwhelm myself the real goal is going pro right and making sure that we pump up at the right time you know all that sort of stuff uh, do my best to film as much as I can though let's go Jay relax quarter turn to the right Quarter turn to the right. Oh yeah, got that crazy. Back double bicep. That crazy. No cap. Let's go, Jay. Let's go, Jay. Relax. Quarter turn to the right. Face front. Yo, Jay, Jay got him on the door. Come on, let's get next to him. Thank you, gentlemen. No. Interesting. This is getting interesting. Talk. Talk. Both of them look so. 
sick. Both of them are sick. And left. Either side, the side chest. Kinda, sorta. So they didn't. I. Are you fucking kidding me? All right. Hopefully, in here is is a little bit more valid. So I've done a terrible job of filming. One because they're super strict at this show. I didn't want my girlfriend to get kicked out. And then like, I don't know. Backstage shit show. The show was ran pretty ass. Took fucking years. It is. 3.30 right now, final start at 5. Uh, I think we got 5th place, so we made first call out, got moved around. Looking back at some pictures, my front post was a little last, my front relaxed. I didn't, I didn't open up all the way, but like our upper body, I guess, is just like light years behind. Even though I don't think it's that far behind, and I think I blow some of these people out of the water when it comes to legs, this being my third show, I've come to realize that like, yeah, having your legs is dope, but like it won't carry a lacking upper body versus like an overdeveloped upper body will carry lacking lower body, at least in classic. It's a mess physique like that. My back is like shot. We're low key cramping, so we'll run a rice cake, some almond butter, and then a little bit of salt on it. And maybe sip a little bit more water. I'm gonna see how I look though. Obviously disappointed. Fifth place is not what we want. I think James might get his pro card here. Obviously we went in very confident. But I mean James got got the upper body on me, so it's looking great. So hopefully hopefully you can get the dub, you know. That way we can show that uh like us influencers like can actually do this shit. But as much as I wanna beat on myself, because like obviously we busted our ass. Uh it's like the hardest I've ever worked. Uh, for something is for this specific goal and obviously we came short. We got to like remember things at the end of the day Been lifting a little over two and a half years now. So like can't expect just to like Go pro like that. Also, we haven't taken our off season as serious as we take our prep uh, so I Think if we take the off season seriously Obviously focus upper body train like a men's physique guy our, our lower body. We don't need to do anything like if we get it any bigger, we're just wasting weight. And that was going to be my next point. We weighed in at 188 and a half. There's not much room for us to like put on a lot of size. So we got to be careful because we're going to have to suck down even more. I mean, if we dehydrate a lot, we could probably add another maybe five pounds of muscle. I'm dead. I had I had two cookies post show for Wegmans busting. Wifey's taking a nap. I was supposed to take a nap, but like... I just don't think I'll be able to sleep right now. I'm like, not comfortable. So like, after you get a glaze and everything, like I stink, my body's sticky, I just want a fucking shower. But I think we're in fifth, so we gotta do our routine tonight. Now I don't know when I'm gonna drop this video because it's not like the Europa where I got the footage of me posing and all that like right away. So like, I won't have that footage, I think for a few days. So maybe I'll just throw it in a later video, but, uh, this is the, not quite the end, we still gotta go get our, our, our medal or whatever, but this is the end of the revenge tour, man. Your guys' support was absolutely insane. Huge thank you to Cody and uh, Steve, Steve Knabel. Uh, he helped us backstage. He acted as like Cody's eyes. Uh, and it was FaceTime Cody, huge help backstage. And the biggest thanks goes to my beautiful girlfriend. Uh, we just got her Instagram deleted, but we're going to New York City tomorrow. She gets a full day, I told her. You know, you pick the restaurants, it's a full day for you. Like, this is my thank you to you. Because you deserve the world. Because I couldn't imagine how difficult this prep would have been without her. Like, definitely the biggest, biggest blessing. Even when we lose, we win it. But I'm running this rice cake. 
If you drink a little bit more water, like, we're locking up bad. Oh, all right. So I realized that I didn't film anything after the show. So we left with a medal. Not the medal we wanted, though. We ended up placing fifth. I mean, you guys saw my routine, so only top five do the routine. And I just want to give a little, uh, a little bit more of like a recap now that it's been a few days. Thank you to all you guys for the support. It's been absolutely fucking an incredible journey. Just being able to document and then have you guys like right here, like along the way. I refer to, I say we all the time on TikTok. People always I say like, yo, why do you say we? It's like, because like without y'all, there is no me. So it's like, you guys, are, anyone that's been following me for a while, you guys have seen since I've hopped on gear. Like you guys have seen like my progress and have been there like, I have thousands and thousands of videos posted on TikTok, handful of videos on here. We got the podcast, so like, I let you guys in on my life. So it's like, it's not just me, you know, walking down this path. You know, I got, I got all you guys with me. Um, like, there's no Jalen fit without you guys. And then of course, big thank you to Rise Sups and Absolute Recomp for sponsoring this show, uh, helping out with paying for it and all that, making all this possible. It's nice when you have uh, companies that truly support you and, like, in your goals, you know? And you're, and you're not just, like, a number. You know what I'm saying? Uh, there's some companies that I'm with that I feel that I'm just a number. Hopefully that will change. But, uh, you know, I, li I, li I like to be considered, like, a person and, like, actually, like, have some value to me. But I do want to say, too, the title of this video is saying that we got robbed. Do I think that we got robbed... I mean, looking at, like, some of, like, like, pose for pose, like, side chats, I mean, like, they don't value legs that much, because, like, side chats, I think I was, like, right in the mix, uh, my front relaxed pose was ass, that's where we lost it a bit, but, like, front double, like, I, I think, I think I maybe could have got fourth, maybe even third, but, like, regardless... Yeah, we would have had more work to do. Like, we, we still got to go to the drawing board and, like, get bigger. So, it doesn't really matter. There's not To me, there's not a difference between, like, third and fifth. Like, it was top two or nothing, right? Now, maybe we would have done another show had we gotten third. You know? And, I mean, it's, uh, what could end up happening is, like, I could very easily go do another national show. And it's not as stacked. And then all of a sudden, I place you know, top two, but, like, it's not worth it to me for a maybe when I can just take this off season and come back undeniable. So, the next video that you guys will see will be me talking about, like, our off season plan. Uh, I've discussed it with Cody. We, we got, like, the blueprint laid out, so that'll be a separate video, but I just want to say thank you guys for the support. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know most of it was just me talking to the camera. We didn't get too much show day footage, but, like, we did our best, man. As always, also, once again, I got to shout out uh, my beautiful girlfriend uh, for everything that she did. And uh, she's got a video of our full day in New York City. Uh, you know, happy wife, happy life. You know, if you got people that are there for you, uh, always, always make sure you look out. It doesn't even have to be like your girl. It could be your boys. They were there from day one, like, holding you down. Like, you get the chance to always look out. But I appreciate all you guys. As always, it's been real. It's been true. It's your boy Jay Lane, and go chase your motherfucking dreams.